Hello, this is Mr. O. And uh, today we're going to make a very simple model of a vehicle. I guess I'll call it vehicle because it's gonna have some wheels and it's probably gonna be able to move. So let's get it started. First of all, I want you to locate the base plate. So when this video is over, not right now, when this video is over, please go and get one of these base plates. What I would ask you to do next is, you're gonna also locate two of these large axles right i would call them axles now once you get one of these axles you will try to position one approximately in here and one in here but not how i'm doing this right now but actually what you will do is you will take your base plate and you slide this through just make sure that these holes align so basically two axles will be parallel to each other now once you got something like this if you put it back horizontally you should see something like this easy very easy thing now once we in here what we will do next now we will try to attach some gears and some wheels first of all if you were to so the whole idea is as i asked you to do in one of the previous classes to use wheels of different sizes so i got wheel of a large size and i got a medium wheel if you prefer, you can do medium and small or large and small, it doesn't matter. But I'm really asking you to use two different sizes. Now, once you got this thing, what we will do next is we will try to put wheel and the axle on the say, I'm sorry, wheel and the gear on the same axle. But if you were to put axle right in here, okay, I'm just showing you what not to do. It will rub against this base plate and it will create some extra friction and as a result thing will might not move really well. So what we will do is we are gonna get something I would call them washers, washer. All right, so let me show them to you in a second. All right. So these are washers. I'll just put a few in here. See, the purpose of these little things is that once you put it on the axle, between two objects it reduces friction and actually makes them move a little bit better so what i will do i will find two washers of relatively same size and i will put let me start with the let's say with this axle first so what i do right now i will put one washer in here and one washer in here see now what happens that it will reduce some friction all right what will we what i will do next let me start with large wheels so i will use one of these and uh, once I put this gear on one side, I will try to mimic it and put the same type of gear on the other side. If anybody wonders why I'm doing this, why we need these gears, because in one of our next projects, which coming very soon, you will have to make this thing move using electrical motors and using batteries. And the only way for you to make, not the only, but best way for you to make wheel rotate if more actually is connected to one of these gears and that gear makes axle spin and then your axle will make your actual wheel spin. Now, once we got in here to this side, see this gear already has something in here that looks like a lot like washer, just to give some space. So you do not need another washer in here. It, this is a part of a gear. So once I put my wheel in here, you already figured what I've done on the other side. I will try to replicate it and do exactly the same thing on the other side. So again, please watch what I'm doing. And I'm taking wheel of the same large size and I put it on this side. All right. So once I've done this component, now I need to make sure that my wheels don't fall off, right? Because, you know, you probably figure if this thing starts moving, wheels will slide off and actually fall, right? We don't want this to be happening. So what I will do now, I will have to find two things. I will have to find a special type of a nut and I have to use something called hex wrench. Hex wrench will help me to attach these things and make them stay together. So, which you don't really see in the video, but every time I stop talking, I go and look in one of these boxes, which you have in the class, which you probably have in front of you or you're gonna have in front of you in a few minutes. All right, here's what happens next. Probably, I'm guessing I need one, this is called hex wrench. Hex, it means, you know, it comes from hexa, six. So this is, see, if you look at this thing, 
it has six sides. That's why it's called hex wrench. So the nuts, which we're using in here, are also actually screws. I'm sorry, I should use the word screws in here. Screws which we're using in here are also going to have uh, six sides. One second, please. Try to locate one of those. Okay. They look like this. See, this round thing. And see, if you look inside, if you look inside, this, there is a thing, there is a screw, which can be turned with one of these hex wrenches. So let me see if this is the right size. Yes, happen to the right size. So what I do first, I turn it counterclockwise. So see, so this screw, it's hard to see the video, but I'm, I'm basically making sure that this hole doesn't have this screw inside, that the screw like a little bit pulled back. What I do next, I will take this, all right, let's not, and I'll put it right in here, all right, let's say, so right on the wheel. Now what I do, I will use my hex wrench and I will screw it clockwise. So when I screw in, so when I turn it clockwise, I don't over tighten it. As this thing starts like getting hard, let's say, I'm not trying to twist it hard because otherwise you'll break either screw or a wrench and we don't want to break neither. So once it's kind of tight a little bit, take your hex key out, right? Actually, some people call it hex key. So I will use these two interchangeably, hex wrench or hex key, right? So anyway, see, and now you cannot remove this wheel from here. I'll do the same thing on the other side. So when I do it on the other side, I take my hex wrench, I turn it counterclockwise. See, I accidentally took this hex screw out so let me put it back in now i put it on my wheel and using the hex wrench or hex key again let's say i will screw it in and look what happened now don't over tighten it see now nothing falls off because this stays really well and this stays really well all right so i'm half done what i have to do now i will like use the same thing same idea same technology on the front side so what I will do, I will take one of these axles and I'll put it through, just like I did before. See, the, this is the axle I put through. By now, you probably don't need this video to know how to finish it, so I'll try to speed this up. I appreciate you listening, so please let me finish. All right, so first of all, I need to put some of these washers so to reduce some friction. So uh, I have to, good idea, to pick two washers of exactly the same size. Let me do it and let's see if I found two washers of the same size. Yes, I did. So I put them on these axles like this. Then I put two gears, one on one side and one on the other side. Once I've done this thing, I take two wheels and I slide one over here and I slide one over here. Because these wheels are a little bit smaller, obviously we're gonna have some overhang in here, but it's okay, don't worry about it. Let's see, and uh, what we're gonna do now, I will find two more of those hex screws, which I'm gonna put on both sides. Once I got two of these, right? So I'll put one on this side and I'll put one on the other side. Again, what I do right now, I'll use my hex, hex wrench I'll put it in here and please don't over tighten it. So this is tight, it's not sliding. And I'll do the same on the other side. And this is not sliding once it's turned. Yeah, it's nice and tight. So this is exactly what I wanted to accomplish. So once this thing is done, your mini project of a day is complete. Very soon we will do the next part. Again, when we will add electrical parts, for now, I'll just make it slide. See, and it's moving nicely and freely. If your car, over there it is, does the same thing, actually. So, uh, you did a good job. Thank you very much for watching this video.